Hey y'all, what's up? So, in my, like, most popular video right now, currently, it may not work for people, so I'm just making this video to make sure, and it's because you have Ethernet, so I'm gonna be showing you how to unblock your parents' block on Ethernet. So right now, I actually am connected to Ethernet for my PC, and to actually check if you're connected to Ethernet on your computer, you, you can just see, like, a white cable or something connected to your PC, but on your computer, just go and go down here um and then if it's like this that that should be ethernet but um if that's not enough just go to network and internet setting and then when you do that go to view hardware and connection properties do that you just want to uh view name right here do that it's say ethernet or wi-fi and if yours is ethernet then that means you have ethernet and um my last tutorial won't work for you that happened to many people so i'm gonna be showing you how to go ahead and get started here we're gonna go and like just go and go into your search bar like right here um and this will be like different since i customized my pc but when you do that go ahead and search up control panel just like that okay so guys uh if control panel doesn't work for you, it's like not working for me right now. It's just a blank screen. The search will, so it's fine. But uh, basically, you just want to go ahead and search up or like click on uh, network and sharing and that. And then there we go. And it's like connections, Ethernet, click that and go to properties. Then you'll need administrator access for that. And when you do that, you should see like this go to configure and then um advanced you'll see like a bunch of stuff and then network address should already be there so this is be like not present like that then go to value and then when you do that you don't have to type in like de or anything just type in 12 random numbers like need 12 random numbers so i'm gonna type it in just like that so that's just 12 random numbers then click ok close and here's the thing you actually don't have to restart your pc for this so basically go here and you just have to wait like literally just wait and it'll connect again as you can see and it's connected and now you can go onto any page you want it'll work um and I, if you guys don't have ethernet i would actually recommend getting it and here's why so i'd be getting 20 megabytes per second or gigabytes sorry something like that but with ethernet this is how much you actually get it gives you like like over 200 of a boost like 300 megabytes so um i would definitely recommend getting ethernet so yeah you guys don't have it and i'll see y'all later